The debate over who should be number two continues and to help me break down who would give Alabama the stiffest competition, at least in Vegas, is our gaming analyst. And he actually works for Fox Sports Live as well. Todd Furman, Todd, you do this for a living. You're actually in Sin City. Hypothetically speaking, if Alabama were to square off against Oregon in the national title game, what would the point spread look like? Uh, Shay, right now you're looking at Alabama, about a three-point favorite in that game. The over-under would be 68-and-a-half. Well, it seems absurdly high for Alabama. You consider the fact that they did play a 49-42 game with A&M earlier this year. The one concern you'd have to have looking to back Oregon in this particular spot, experience Nick Saban against inexperienced Mark Helfrich. And the reality of it is Oregon right now still a cut above Florida State as far as Vegas is concerned, but that gap is narrowing by the day. Well, according to LVH Superbook, both Alabama and Oregon have three to two odds to actually win the BCS. Let's keep the same question now, Todd, and discuss Florida State. If the Seminoles were to go head to head against Bama, how would the point spread differ from Oregon? Uh, right now, you're looking at Alabama opening number there about five, five and a half. The total significantly lower in that 58 to 59 range. Florida State clearly turned eyes of people that weren't believers this past weekend with their drubbing of Clemson in Death Valley. You have to believe this team is only going to get better as Jameis Winston continues to get seasoning under his belt. Unfortunately for Florida State, no matter how they do in the ACC, they won't encounter a defense nearly as crisp as Alabama, and that would include a potential showdown against Virginia Tech in the conference championship, which might be a better litmus test for a potential national championship. Well, Alabama and that defense have been favored in 48 straight games. Okay, Todd, we've talked about the top three teams in the country, but we can't discount Urban Meyer and the undefeated Buckeyes. How would Ohio State compare? Uh, we can't discount them, but from a credibility standpoint, as far as Vegas looks at this game, it's not really a mismatch. It's more of a blowout waiting to happen. You're looking at Alabama between an 11 to 12 and a half point favorite in that game. I know we talk all the time about Ohio State and the pedigree, what it would mean for them to run the table. We saw last year with Notre Dame who had a much more deserving resume. I think Ohio State's going to need some help. You consider the fact that they could go through the entire regular season and a Big Ten championship without beating a ranked opponent. This team very untested. And I think Alabama, Oregon, or even Florida State would have their way with the Buckeyes in Pasadena. All right, Todd Furman, thanks so much for joining us. Great stuff.